Hello and welcome to this map first look of Newston Farm by Petorius. So this is a reincarnation of maps available in previous versions of Farm Simulator, but this one has been painstakingly redone. With lots of details added. Right from the start I'll say if you like animals this is not the map for you as there are no placeable animal areas on here. But there, this is an arable based map. So I've not been around this at all yet, so it's the first time I've been on here. We'll take a look and see what we can find. So I'll leave the FPS up in the top corner so we can see what it's doing as we go around. So we've turned the traffic off, avoid any little mishaps. We'll go out this way, I'll leave the mini map up as well. We've got a shop we've just left, a fuel station there. We have Norfolk Straw products there. Interests so I don't live too far away from the real company. And our cell points in there as well. And the AD plant there. Come down to the edge of the map here to see how well that's been hidden. Uh, paint it a bit there. So we have a set of gates here. So we have an off road 4x4 four four centre up here, according to the details. So I might as well open those gates up and go through this way. Let's take us through around the edge of the map. Let's see what the details are like. There is a painted boundary over there, but it's well hidden. Got a railway running through the middle of the farm there, as you can see. With trains running on it. familiar with that particular train across the East Anglia. Just the standard props on this map currently. Our fields in here. The most details is looking to the distance. So there is there. So in here we've got another train line up here. Which we've obviously just missed the train on. Rather busy train line in fact. This one. little touch to have that working train line through the middle of the farm. Might as well carry on heading down through the middle here. Just have a look at that field on the right. Because unless it's my eyesight, that doesn't look like the standard in-game Born to me. Could be wrong. So lots of trees on here. Based on the real life area, so uh, not an area I know. I'm sure there are those that do. You want to go the other way, not the way I've just turned. There's water in the middle there. We'll try and find this four off road to four before track to have a look at. Just skirting around the outside here. 
lots of sets of gates for us to open, that's for certain. I'll say the textures look a bit flat on those gates. Nice large field there. We may go way around this way, we will end up back in the farmyard eventually. Should we find our way into the 4 for 4 place at the moment? Somewhere in here? Got a scarecrow there. Full center. We'll just have a quick look around in here, see what we can find. This could probably end up with me turning over the Mahindra, but we'll have a look around this course and just see what we've got in here. All we need now is a Land Rover to go around the course in. Somewhere just have a bit of fun, really. It's got nice details in here with the trees and everything. Given how many trees we're around, it's sticking at 60 FPS, which is good. It's not unlocked on here, it's locked 60. I haven't unlocked it. Bit of a dip there. Both FPS and ground terrain. Just a nice bit to have a bit of fun in, really. It's a bit unusual for a map. So I just take a fair while to get this bit sorted out. And you add the map. anything too big around here that's for certain. Right enough fun in there let's go and have a look at the rest of the details on here. Let's try and go around the edge of the field I think. So we've got oats in this one. Not certain whether they're standard in game textures or not. So I'm gonna have to have a bit of a research into I think. Sure, what we've got on the bottom corner here. That's meant to be game cover. Yeah, these aren't standard in game textures. So we've got wheat on here. It's very similar to wheat on the Harsfeld map. I've been playing on maybe a couple of months ago, I think I was on there. Nip down the outside edge here, along the edge of the map. We can see the painted boundary hidden in there now, but well hidden. If they're well hidden, I'm not against them, but it's when they sort of smack you in the face, it's a bit of an annoyance. We just keep heading down the outside edge here. All the fields down this end. Slightly smaller fields, I should say. I'm getting close to the train line again. So 
got lots of detail with the hedges and trees on here. So I know this won't be to everyone's taste because it is, as I say, arable only, but someone like myself, I prefer arable to animals. So I'll happily take them. Still look up the ones the other side while we're going through. crops we've got through here at the same time. Yeah, so we've got different crop textures on the canola here. We certainly left in no date you're near the railway line, that's for certain. Nice to see some custom crop textures on the map. Again, it's a lot better that canola there. Let's see what that sign said there. Private land keep out. Well, don't bother us. Let's have a look at what we can find in the farmyard. Tracks all got a nice texture on as well. So we're down in our farmyard here with the machinery and everything we've got. Some nice big barns in here. So let's have a wander around to see what we've got. Got two trailers tucked up there. Workshop down in this corner with a non working vehicle lift. That would spoil Mr. Game of Dragons fun if he came on here. Let me know how much he likes vehicle lifts, anyone who's watched him from time to time. Got ourselves a grain store in here. What could be used for grain store or root store? storage in those sheds, big storage barn over here for straw or whatever you seem fit. So we've got our lime station there. So this is on new farmer mode obviously. So we've got some grain storage in here. Nice details with the fuse box on the wall there. It's on that door as well. That looks like a light switch there. Obviously not, just decoration. Should be some tractors around here somewhere. So we've got three tractors in here. We have a 6250R, the 4220 Fast Track, and a 7310R John Deere. So we've got some nice starting vehicles there. Again, as per use, the Mahindra is not a starting vehicle. We've got our T Series Combine in here. Must mean the other machinery is around in this shed. So we have the Vardestat discs over here, the carrier, the Kelty plow there, and the Vardestat drill there. Must be some more about here somewhere. There we go, we've got a sprayer tucked away in here and a fertilizer spreader. So everything you need to start your farm off, which is good. And I'd hazard guess that that's actually a fill point as well, given the markings on the floor. A nice little farmyard there. I 
believe this is a placeable area for horses should you require it. I'm reading the details. As I said, this is de designed primarily as an arable farm, so livestock haven't really been thought about on here, which I know isn't going to go down well with everyone. Myself, as I said, quite happy with an arable only. Looks good as you look over into the distance there. Should we come out on the public highway again down there? And have a look through the village. Nice big fields here, which I know again won't be Derek One's taste. But the roads are nice and wide, you can get bigger kit down them. So you're not going to have to struggle too much for space on here. So that means we come to the corner of the map here. It's a better way of hiding it. Hedges have collisions on them. That might not go down well. Times. So we'll head back up this way. A slight strange occurrence there. The gate showed closed when they're open until we got closer. direction again. Let's see if we can find our way out. Should be alright for phone reception on here by the looks of it. Go down this way this time. See the size of the fields there. Big kit territory. It's nice to have another English field map on here to play. House has got some nice detail in. Sure, we need the door knocker on the back doors, but uh, you never know. All nicely laid out. Again, sort of stepping us back to the map border over there. Made a bit more obvious this time. right down the bottom corner of a map. Back up the outside edge again. Gives you an idea of the shape of the fields as well. Proper British type fields shapes. Uneven. Odd shapes. Awkward corners. Everything we have on our fields in this country. back onto a bit of a better road surface. So you can see the custom crop textures again on there. It's look completely different.
but certainly well laid out with the trees on the hedgerows and that sort of thing. Over on ditches around the outside of the field, all made to look like it. So let's have a look at the map and see what we've actually got on here then. So we have 24 fields of varying shapes sizes. As you can see we've just got the usual fruit types on here. So one and two currently are just cultivated which belong to us. So this is new farmer mode so we have a field of what looks to be wheat there two cultivated fields when we come on to here in new farmer mode we also own a little bit of woodland down here and the bit of the shop and the cell points are on if you want to go complete sell it all off got 1,197,000 for that lot now unfortunately you can't buy single fields on here it comes in blocks again. So a small one there, just under 500,000. 638. 473. So you need some good money to expand, to put it that way. Machinery wise, let's just have a look at cell points actually. We've just got the three. Norfolk straw, LBS crop sales, and evolution biogas. So, in that respect, it's a bit like um, Sutton Farm was. With regards to how many cell points we get. So, we'll get rid of that, we'll just have a look at machinery. Make sure we haven't missed anything. So, the three tractors we saw the 6250, Fast Track, and 7310. Combine Mahindra will ignore the two trailers, carrier, combi plane, rapid spreader, sprayer. Yep, so good good amount of start machinery. Some good sized fields on here. Um, keep you entertained due to the shapes, that's for certain. So that's where we'll leave this first look. So this seems to be a good map if you like arable only and not a lot else. If you want animals, well, I would recommend probably finding a different map to use. But for now, that's where we'll leave this first look. So I'll say, I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you have, please remember to like and subscribe if you haven't done already. And I'll see you again next time. Thanks for watching and goodbye for now.